Hello and welcome back to my channel where you'll find all things cleaning, organizing, and lifestyle. Today's video is a CB2 furniture review for the Camden sofa. This sofa is definitely a little bit more on the pricier side. It is just under $2,500 on the CB2 website. And I know when I am furniture shopping in general, but especially for pricier pieces, I rely so heavily on reviews. So I really wanted to make this video to hopefully help anyone who is considering this couch. I wanna give my honest opinions and what I think. So let's get into the details. For size reference, this couch is just over 101 inches in length. So I'm about 5'8", and I can lay on this couch perfectly and still have extra room. So to me, it's a very good sized couch. I believe this colorway that I have is the Dream Pina Colada. I say I believe because I actually bought this couch secondhand, so I don't have the exact colorway. But just in looking at the stock photos here from the CB2 website, it does look nearly identical. So I am pretty sure that that is the colorway that I do have. But for reference, this couch comes in 27 different colors, which is very impressive. So if like the cream light color neutral is not your style, there's definitely a lot of other options to choose from. And then in addition to that, you can get them in different fabrics as well. Everything from wool to twill to linen weave. There's just a lot of variety and different ways that you can go with this couch if you like the style itself. So I thought that that was a pretty impressive perk that I really did like. But for me, obviously I went with the cream and the fabric that I have is the velvet fabric. Something that I wanna point out is that this is not like the traditional velvet that you might expect. That's what I was a little bit nervous of when I saw this on the website and I was doing my research. It's definitely more of like a performance velvet if I had to describe it. You can see it's kind of got like a little bit of a texture to it and it just seems more sturdy and soft than the traditional velvet feel. It's also more of a firm couch. So if you like a firm couch, this is a great option for you. It's not gonna be like a fall in cloud loungy type couch, which I was glad that I knew ahead of time. And then in terms of the pillows, you can see here that they're not like Velcro down or tied down. They're just loose pillows sitting on top, which I prefer. And these pillows do have zippers on them. So you can take the like casing or covering off of the pillows. But just to reiterate, definitely more of a firm feel, so keep that in mind if that is not something you like. Also, in terms of height, this is a little bit of a lower couch. You can see I'm trying to do like a little description of how much room is underneath. I would say probably a six inch gap, um, but the couch itself in total is 31 inches high and 37 inches deep. That's counting the pillows and the armrests. So with that being said, I would consider this a lower couch, but I feel like modern furniture in general is just becoming lower and lower. So it's not very abnormal. It's very comparable to the last couch that I had. And I do like the height of this one a lot. So all that to say, my honest thoughts on this couch are that I do really, really like it a lot. I do want to point out that if you're someone who's looking for like a everyday lounge couch, you have a big family, maybe a big dog, and you want to use this as like a big family lounge couch, I would maybe decide against it. You can see just from looking at the stock photos on the website, it's definitely more of, I hate to say decorative because you can definitely use this couch, but it definitely has more of a decorative feel. It's not gonna be like a super performance couch. It is a little bit more of like, a modern maybe good office couch for me living in an apartment i'm not on the couch all the time so it does work perfectly for me but definitely take into consideration how you want to use the couch and what kind of comfort level you like if you don't mind a more firm couch this couch is a really great option and another important thing to note, something that I saw consistently on the reviews for this couch was that people found it hard to clean, specifically after like the wear and tear for a while, it was just hard to get everyday spots off of it. So if that's gonna be an issue for you, definitely take that into consideration as well. For me personally, I always like to sit with a blanket underneath me, no matter what couch I'm on, no matter the color, for both comfort and just the cleanliness of the couch. So that's a habit that I'm used to and that doesn't bother me doing that often to keep my couch clean. But if that is something that would bother you, definitely note that maybe the lighter color is not the best option. 
And if you are a fan of this couch, I do want to point out that it also does come in a side chair as well. So if you want to kind of make it a whole set or maybe you just like the style and would prefer to have an accent chair, it does come in a chair form as well, which is a super cute option. Um, this one is also a higher price point. It's just under $1,500 on the CB2 website, but is another alternative or you could add it to go along with this couch. If you do wanna check out either of these pieces, I do have them both linked below for reference. Again, if you want a nice piece of furniture that's really gonna elevate your living room, I do recommend this sofa. I am a big fan and I'm overall very happy with my purchase. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this review helpful. Feel free to drop any questions below in the comments.